That's true. That is true. Can I jump in for a second? Please, I yield my fatty took all my goddamn points. And yes, so, so you won. I apologize. Sorry. Yo, respect, fatty. Yeah, you right. Thank you, man. I thank you for for conceding that point. Respect to you, man. I like the way you held Hamp down with that whole Luna situation, man. You a real one for that. Yeah, we don't even um, names, names is irrelevant. We ain't using yeah, no yeah, names yeah. anymore. Right. Facts. Okay. Nah, fatty, um, but salute. That's why he the capo. Feel me? Damn. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but uh, what's up, Hamp, man? What's up, ladies? How's everybody Hi. doing? Salute the whole panel. Um, yeah, I just wanted, I could just quick comment. Uh, love, I just, I thought it was interesting that you, you don't know, think that there's competition around you. Um, but I guess there's a difference between like competing, actually competing, and then being just in a competition. And so I know from what I know about you already yeah the these young women aren't competing with you however what the challenge comes in is that with men we're really simple so all we need is somebody to just take our attention and if a younger woman can do that then she's in competition with women you know up to twice her age because it's it's really about getting attention for men and then from there if she knows what to do with that attention she can go further but but does she i mean she might be there for a good time but not a long time and I think that's where men get it messed up at. So yeah, she can get your attention. You know, she right. she, she can get it for the short term and the short time and be a good time. But can she keep it? Can she hold it? Because sex will not keep a man. Right. So, but she but but then in the meat while she's holding the attention, the 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 old you know, the older woman or whoever she's competing with is has fallen out of competition. How? So that's a real play her because she because she won the attention even if it's temporarily she won the attention and then when y'all get bored with her because you're going to get bored with her because all she offers again sex will not keep a woman so you're gonna you're gonna so enjoy does that and you're gonna get mm -hmm. bored with her and then you're gonna be like okay what's next so she really didn't win giving dick does not mean that she won okay so in the meantime what what happens to the to the older woman who was around initially Let's say the older woman and the younger woman um, were around. <laughs> let's, oh <my> say, <laughs> let's say the older, let's say the older woman, the older woman and the younger woman. Let's say they was around at the old time at the same time, and the younger woman gets the attention of the man. Okay. What's going What's going to happen to the older woman in the meantime? Well, if that man decides to lose what he has with the older woman then he just lost out. You might win some, but you just lost one. Lauren Hill said it best. So go ahead and keep her attention. And then we get bored with her. And then you want something that's real and that's for the long term and a long time. She's not going to be there anymore because you played yourself. Cut it out, Hamp. <laughs> right. So, so, I mean, but basically, so what you're saying is that the older woman would lose the competition. She would, but, but is she really, right. but, is, but is that guy really the prize for her though? Because if he doesn't is really matter, it does matter because if he can be easily distracted and his attention can go someplace else so easily, then he's when I lost out, not her, because there's a man out there that won't be so easily distracted if he can <laughs> distract that quick when it's really down for it and y'all really in it together. He can be distracted again. All right. Oh, now, I understand you. I understand your perspective, because a lot of a lot of women are, are competing with you. You're very, very, very competitive. I mean, you you got it you got it like women ain't competing with you 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 got it together um but uh, just on the but not everybody's not everybody's as dope as you are you got it you got to like yeah you really got to understand where most people are at so and, yeah and no I, ain't no women competing with you i know that thank you sweetheart i appreciate that i got a question i'm gonna drop that line all, all right that hey but look hold on hold on hey look i just i i gotta go I, no, I got to go. That's all I wanted to say. And um, right. I'm, I'm about to be on my way over there. Oh, See you later. <laughs> also one. I got a question. So, Love, you said... I'm lost. Something going on. Anybody else? Oh my goodness, man. Go ahead, Mike. So, love, you said that 
the younger woman doesn't have as good of a chance of keeping the man's attention. If that is, you know, attention is to women what sex is to men. That's just is what it is. And to keep a man's attention is what creates the competition. So who has a better chance? An older woman with multiple failed relationships and a fixed ideology or a younger woman without as many failed relationships and an open ideology. I think the younger woman has a better chance to keep the man's attention. So you have you have a very false assumption and, it, and it's dangerous. You're presuming that this young woman doesn't have a lot of failed relationships because the how older could, how could the you know, grand I mean, give me a second. The, yeah. the older woman could have been married, right? So you're you're making a lot of assumptions. So this woman, the older woman, could have married mm -hmm. for 20 years. She had oh. one relationship. The younger one, because they believe in such sexual liberation and whatnot, she could have had way more failed relationships or way more interactions, normal interactions with men. And y'all make the assumption that these young girls aren't doing that as opposed to the older women. So I think it's very dangerous to make that assumption. So it's not as dangerous. And here's why. By 20, 30, 50 percent of all women in the United States of America will be single. So now I'm not talking about specifics or, hey, this might woman might have the general will be that women are single as fuck, whether they're old or they're young, they're going to be single. So we can assume that the majority like of single women out there have never been married, especially if they're black. So that is where I'm coming from with it. Not that, oh, this woman might have been married. No, no, no. If you take a random sample of women who are single. And they are, let's say, black women or black and white women. Most of them will have never been married ever. So that's what I'm saying. It's going to be a problem for the majority coming soon. Okay. And I think the younger woman has a better chance of keeping the man's attention. So unless we're going to talk about a woman who is uh, a virgin or celibate and doesn't have sex with men, then all women who are sexually active and or dating, those women would have been assumed to have multiple failed relationships. And I, I believe that men will choose the woman with an open ideology. Fail, we know failed relationships hardens women. It makes them bitter. That's why a lot of men stay away from older single women. Okay. I mean, this is among the men. Okay, okay. So the younger woman, um... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> hey, don't do that, I'm trying to. <laughs> Go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. I'll try to get Mike. Um, so the younger woman, you know, the men may be attracted to her physically, um, but as I said, she may be for the short term. And as we said earlier too today, um, younger women nowadays, these Gen Z, they don't actually value marriage. So you may, men may want to go after them and pursue them, but if she's not marriage minded, what's she going to be? Just another baby mama? Like you have to be very careful in your selection, not just because the way they look. Shut up, fatty. Um, real quick, uh, uh but the, you know when he said the assumption, right? So what happens is here. Here's the logic: if you're saying failed relationships, right? Where the assumption is that the more time you spend in this earth, the more likely you're going to have failed relationships. So you're not going to have an opportunity to even explain to him, no, I kept my legs closed, right? Because you aren't separating yourself from the hose, right? That's that that remember these are the assumptions that's happening. So okay. you're older, you guys don't separate yourselves, right? She's younger, so we can assume she has the the the, the mindset, but she's younger. So at the very least, we can assume she doesn't have the same miles. So it's all these assumptions happening around you. That's why you, it's very important to follow the logic. Does it act, does it make sense regardless if it we don't like it? Let me ask, can I ask you a question real quick, Cam. How do you? And I think I asked it before. How do men? see us as separating ourselves from the 304s like what well, does that look well, like to you well first first before the one of the brothers can answer that question uh -oh. i'm not siding i'm just saying do you understand the logic stream it i understand the logic stream but it's a flawed logic stream is all i'm saying can i can, can you give me a chance to clarify three seconds like we look at women like you look at orphanage babe uh orf orphanage kids you read they have a baby that has nothing imprinted in his head that you can raise him for the rest of his life and he doesn't have no connections no traumas no money no nothing then actually go and adopt a 16 year old because now he has his thoughts he has his trauma yes 
give you your props on that. That actually it's the same thing. We look at it as a blank that's canvas. Great, that's a great example. Not only yeah, is it the same thing. Mm-hmm. And, and in an example of miles, just like uh, in the example of miles, just like DJ Hamp was talking about, if I had to take, if I saw a 2006 Nissan Pathfinder, they are going to be mad at you. <laughs> Nissan Pathfinder. Which one is assumed to have more miles? The older there, one. There could be a 2006 with only a thousand miles on it, but that shit is highly unlikely. I want the 2022. And Mike, on top of that example, why the fuck doesn't it have miles? <laughs> when I'm looking at cars, what's wrong with this shit? You see what I'm saying? Like, this is a lemon, you know, just in terms of the logic. I'm not saying you have to agree, you know, I'm not, you know, just but just in terms of does it can you follow it? Does it make sense? Yeah, when somebody says I want a new car, we're not going 10 years back. What y'all think, man? Y'all sitting there like fucking. Uh, well, I agree. I agree with. The, I agree with not the statement. Not you, HQ. I know you know. I know you know. When I'm telling, when somebody's sitting there not talking, you can assume I ain't talking about you, or or I ain't gonna say no other name. Anybody else? Besides, I'm in because right now, if if somebody just tuned in, it would seem as though the ladies maybe maybe just listening to understand the other three, other four. <laughs> Well, I, I I don't want to keep on talking. I'll let my talk. I was going to say something about the vintage cars because the vintage cars we're going to keep on using car names. Vintage cars. Stop. Just so stop. They are Just stop. Expensive. Hold on. Let me finish real quick. Vintage cars are highly valuable. They're highly sought after, but only a few lucky rich ones. Can get that vintage car. Now you just win, Now, na- now name of yeah. yeah. What's the market? What's the market for vintage car? That man is taking care of that vintage car. Love, name of vintage car. Oh, that that, 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 that was a good rebuttal. Close, your, close your point and name of it. Speak on my call. He opened himself to that. The analogy was closing. And now love. That that was pretty cool. That was a good. That was a good one. Now I want you to look at the market for vintage cars. And then I want you to look at the market no, for name, the new late name, model. Have her name a vintage car. Just tell us, give us a, a vintage car, love. Tell us, tell us of a vintage car that is very. Look at her She's like, oh shit. Go ahead. Uh, tell us of one. I said what I said already. Now what? What's next? Name, what one. Are name one. You you're talking about it? Giving us an example. Name us a vintage car. You don't know one. I'm sorry, you don't know. You don't know plastic I know cars. plenty. Okay, you don't know any more plastic cars. I know, That's I know plenty of them. Yeah, okay, then it's what you asking me for. I made my point. Now what's you next? Make no point because you know what you're talking about. You're just talking. You're just talking. No, to talk. no, 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 no. I know what I'm talking about. Well, vintage, name cars. One. vintage cars. Name are one. After vintage cars. Right. Now, in the nineties. Let 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 me, me, do you know what a vintage car actually is in, no, in this don't. analogy? No, no, no. A vintage car is Pam Greer. We we like to talk about how fine she was and how much we can polish her up to what she used to be, but she's still old as fuck. That's what a vintage car actually is. And her shocks is done, so she can't even take no back shots. So that shit is just a fantasy. Get out of here. Brother, man. brother, brother. Mm. A friend to tell a friend, and we out. <laughs>